Now let's discuss a program that is to read an English alphabet through keyboard and display whether the given alphabet is in upper case or lower case. So upper case or lower case means upper case capital letters and lower case small letters. So let's start the program. First step is to include the header file. After that we are starting the main function. First step is we need to read an alphabet. So first variable declaration say char ch. So we declared a variable then print f. We need to get a character from the user. So slash n first enter a character and using scanf you are getting the value it is percentage c for character for integer it is percentage d for float it is percentage f and for character it is percentage c and ampersand sign is there and ch so now when user enters a character it will be saved in ch so that much is over now we are checking if it is uppercase or lowercase for that if ch greater than or equal to capital A and and ch less than or equal to capital Z. This means that it is between A and Z. If that be the case, we print character entered is in upper case. Hope this is clear how we are checking it. We are checking if it is between capital A to capital Z because we know that corresponding to each character, each alphabet, both upper and lower case, there is an ASCII value and that is an ascending order. So it checks between A to Z means it will be upper case. Okay, second case is else if ch greater than or equal to small letter a and and ch less than or equal to small letter z. If that be the case, we can give a similar print it is in lower case. Okay. If both these conditions are not satisfied, then that means it's not an alphabet. So you can write character entered is not an alphabet. Okay, if it's a not in between A to Z and small letter A to Z, that means it's not an alphabet. So now the program is uh, complete. Let's check. Entering a character, it is saved in CH. Then first condition, if it is between capital A to Z, it is uppercase. If it is between A, small letter A to Z, it is lower case. Else character entered is not an alphabet. So let's check if you are getting the output. Let's give small letter H. Character entered is in lower case. Now let's try a capital letter, say J. Character entered is in upper case. Now let's check a symbol, say ant symbol character entered is not an alphabet. So this is the program. Let's check a similar program. I already typed it. The question is we need to write a program to read an alphabet through keyboard and display whether the alphabet is a vowel or a consonant. So we know that vowel is A, E, I, O, U. But to check if an alphabet is a vowel, here we know that it is case sensitive. So, so small letter and capital letter are treated separately because they have different ASCII values. So what we do is, just like the last program, we are, enter, we are giving a print like to enter a character and using scanf we 
got the value and ch so now ch has the uh, character that is entered by the user now we are checking if it is in case of upper case we check the range if it is between capital a to z so here vowels means it specifically 10 values say either a e i o u small letters or capital letters so we are comparing each and every character and when we compare the character constant it should be enclosed in single quotes so it's like if ch equals equals a or the symbol is for or then or ch equals equals e or i or o or u so a e i o u for small letters and then next if i for capital letters so it checks for the 10 values if i if one of the 10 values is saved in ch that means it is an alphabet okay but we cannot give else it is a concern we cannot give like this because it can be other than letters so if these 10 values are not there then if it is coming in the range of a to z we can say that it is a concern so again else if, if ch greater than or equal to a and ch less than or equal to z or between capital a to z that means if it was a vowel it would have come in the first condition second condition is it is alphabet but still not coming in the first condition that means it will be a consonant so in second case we give print it is a consonant else means it is not vowel not consonant that means the third case is it is not an alphabet so this is how we write so let's execute the code when we give a h h is a consonant let's give o it is a vowel next we will give a number c 7 it is not an alphabet so this is the code we have three cases first if it is a e i o u capital or small letter it is a vowel if it is not vowel then only it will go to else if in else if again it checks if it is between a to z if that be the case we print that it is a consonant else case means it is not vowel not consonant so it is not an alphabet so this is how you write the code